the door to the crypt. Perhaps we could break them. We're the right tool equipped. If you find such an item, then have the girl nab it. Trespass and theft have become quite her habit.
with something. Zager here. You know, the more time I spend around the mentor, the more I'm reminded of something the librarian said when I first met him. He was quoting Aristotle, and he said to me, youth is easily deceived because it's quick to hope. Well, not just youth. Anyone who's never pet a mean dog is quick to hope. Mide is one of these types. Naive. Sheltered. She believes in the Overseer's Republic. And see, the problem is, sooner or later, he's going to turn on her. Sooner or later, he's going to snap at her. I feel like a sack of <laughs> lying to Marie. I want to tell her who I am, you know, who I really am. But she's just not ready to hear the truth, not yet. She better to stay the course and let the overseer bite her. He'll come away with part of her hand, but she will come away with a new understanding of human nature. Mireille needs a glimpse of the real Treglazov. But it needs to come from him. I can't try to persuade her. I, I told her what I was, what I did in a past life, my time in the army, my work as a journalist, my stints in the battlefield, and she just sees the romance in it. She sees romance everywhere she looks. And that's a real problem, too. She had a life back there. Archaeology? No, anthropology? I should learn to listen better. The point is, she studied the human past to learn more about the human present. But she missed the point. Something bad's gonna have to happen. Something bad has to happen in this place before she'll finally get it. I don't want her to think we're all bad. It's not what I believe. I mean, maybe I used to. Maybe that's what Derringer believes. But they believes we're all good. And that's just as wrong-headed and twice as useless. A fact is this, kids. People aren't good or bad. People are just scared. Always were and always will be. I'm scared. Scared me is not going to love me when I tell her who I really am. And the overseer's scared. He's a rabid dog who knows he could be put down at any point. I mean, you bite one too many male men, society's got no choice but to euthanize. As much as it hurts to say it, I hope he turns on me today soon. It'll be best for everyone. They say the Book of Mormon was spiritually revealed to Joseph Smith. I would sooner trust a demon over those who claim to follow an American settler. However, he is only due limited credit for the religion that resulted from his prophecy. Prophets are like inventors. No one individual deserves credit. 
though our history books overflow with shysters who managed to clutch credit for an idea or two, as they rightly went to their graves. A meager fortune, I assure you. An overseer cares for what and who fate has given him over against the claims of books like this that keep the lie of the individual prophet alive. The door to the labs is buttoned up tight and requires an eye scan, but not with our sight. The giant could open it were he so persuaded, but to ask him outright would be rather ill-fated. Perhaps we can trick him to letting us through by making him think it's a task he must do. Have the girl scan any data you find. The audio from it can then be combined to a simple command using only his voice. When he hears it play back, he won't have a choice. is not in the pond. It is connected to the old cistern. Yes, sir. Climb out of there. It is cold. Yes, and full of bacteria, too. Go change your clothes first. Do you have clean clothes? Yes, sir. Where are they? In the labs. Okay, then. Go put them on. We don't want you to catch him. No, sir. We do not want to catch him. Unit stopped working. A mirror broke? No, listen to me. Some tissue has decomposed. That's all. It happens. We don't want to be here. Then go back outside and get some fresh air, okay? Both of you. I will take care of this. you they need love the captain said are we talking about the roses or the mirrors the captain said everything needs love to grow mom do you think the captain loves you he loves me the most that's why i grow more tall than everyone else <laughs>
hang you from the yard arm. Did good. Thank you, sir. We now can confirm what I have been fearing. This giant was born with exceptional hearing. The Gora must walk slowly when he is around, or he will most surely pick up on the sound. Can't outrun us! You follow the directive well. Thank you, sir.
The light is waning. The bulb will need to be replaced soon. Is it poison? No, Mammoth. This one is non-toxic. But you must be careful, or you'll break its limbs off. You are breaking its limbs? I am making it more beautiful. Is it hurting? No. Plants do not feel pain. Then I want to help make it be more beautiful, too. But you could kill it. Just because something does not feel pain does not mean it cannot die. Do you understand that? Yes, sir. Well done, old friend. There's plenty to use. Let's string it together and finish this ruse. This giant possesses dual personalities, and one of them lords over these principalities. Let's talk to the half that seems in command and make him submit to a quick retinal scan. Open the lab's door. Uh, I will tell the captain. You heard the man. Open the door. Yes, sir. Opening the door for you now, Captain. Open this door!
Why don't you type in the pin code? It's too late, you broke it! Mammoth broke the door! <laughs> 